So hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Now I did realise when I went out on the last video that I actually put the new DJI Osmo Action 3, the microphone setting was in stereo. Now as you can see from that video, actually stationary the mic was okay, but going along the wind noise and the distortion was just terrible. So I've come back out, I've switched it into mono just to see what it sounds like and currently we're recording through the Insta mic that I use, so my regular audio source. But I just wanted to get out and test the mono function setting on the camera to see if that helped and if it was any better. Also in the video I'm going to be going into depth a little bit more, show you the settings that's available and also what I use on the Insta mic currently. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay, so welcome back. Now I've set up the lavalier mics, it's plugged inside the helmet. I've got my quieter helmet on, my HJC RPHA Blear carbon helmet. So it's not the one I was wearing in the last video, which had too many vents, creating too much wind noise. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch from the Insta mic stationary to the lavalier mic. So three, two, one. Okay, so we're on the 3.5mm mic just now. Visor is closed, so it's all sealed off. How does it sound? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll switch over now to the Insta mic. 3, 2, 1. We're back in the room. Okay, so we're back now on to the Insta mic. Like I say, it's my preferred choice, and I'll pull over a little bit ahead and I'll, I'll run you through the settings that I use and a little bit about the functionality and size of this unit. Now the DJI Action 3 camera, as most action cameras, don't have a lot of adjustment. The decibel or the gain inside the camera only goes up to plus 5 from 0, so there's no negative gain, which on any microphone you need to use really if you're using it to capture audio, whether it's being stood still or even running along with a, uh, a lot of wind noise. Now on the Instamic we have minus 78 gain to plus 48 gain so you can see how much of a professional mic it is there's so much adjustability different settings you can even adjust it in a graphic equalizer on the lower frequency just to try and cut out that wind noise a little bit so it is the perfect mic uh, the company is from california and I do know that the website is out of stock of these at the moment. They are in very high demand. And also the chip shortages in Asia don't help the situation with uh, supply and demand. So uh, keep an eye on the website if you're looking for one or drop them an email uh, might be best. Actually, the CEO always responds to the emails and he's very helpful. Not the cheapest of solutions, so about £200 for the mic. They do have a company in Holland that ships them out to you. So there's uh, kind of a UK website. Oh, there's a Bonneville T120. Beautiful. Nice mic. Now we're just going to pull up just a little bit ahead so I can show you on screen and also through the menu of the app. Uh, you can actually control up to 10 Insta mics off the app and all in sync. So there's a lot of functionality. And uh, let's get uh, pulled up somewhere just up the road here and I'll walk you through that. Okay, so we're just pulled up just here, right next to the estuary, just leading out to the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, first of all, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, appreciate if you can uh, hit subscribe, ding that bell for future videos coming up and uh, give the video a like, guys, it all helps. Now, the company that makes Instamics, like I say, are from California. Uh, this little device, as you can see, is very tiny, and also it's mounted on a mount just there. Uh, it just slots into two slots on the side of the mic, and then clips in like so, so it's not going anywhere. It comes with magnetic mounts. You've got sticky mounts and Velcro mounts also. Um, the company is based in California, Silicon Valley. Uh, they produce these. They're a professional grade mic. Uh, you charge them in the bottom. The, uh, the battery on this uh, device, I believe, lasts for 29 hours. It has a 16 gigabyte uh, internal memory as well. You can actually pair 10 of these mics all up to the app and sync them in time. So if you're using them for, say, a wedding, bride and groom, or lots of different people, 
um, it'll all be in sync as well. Uh, the settings, I'll just go into in a little bit, um, can be used through the app. Um, there's so much functionality. Like I said, you can drop down to minus 78 decibels or up to 48 plus. Uh, so massive controllability on the, uh, the product itself. And a few of you are asking what I actually connect my new camera onto my helmet with. And this is actually ridetechmoto.com. Uh, so ridetechmoto.com. Pop that into Internet Explorer or your browser and you'll find uh, mounts actually for uh, most helmets. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see actually the, uh, the phone just here. So I'm going to also put this on screen and uh, do a quick screen capture record. Now on the screen just here you can see my helmet cam is uh, already on there. I'm going to turn, this is my second unit that I capture the bike noise on sometimes. So I'm just going to hold the button in for one second. Uh, the device will boot up and then all three lights will go green. Um, just there. There we go. And then you just simple press for record and simple press for uh, stop and then hold for two seconds to turn it off. But now, if you look at the screen on the right hand side just here, you'll see uh, the helmet mic at the top. Uh, this is uh, recording in mono, 48 kilohertz, manual minus 22 decibels. That's what I use the setting for on my helmet cam. And the one below is the bike noise, uh, again mono, 48 kilohertz. I have this set on minus 7 dB. And I can go into uh, each individual one, so if I go into the bike there, you can just hit record and uh, it'll re start recording. Also, you can see the slider down at the bottom is set to minus 7 dB. I can also go down to minus 79 actually dB, or all the way up to plus 48 dB. So we'll go back down, set it back on about minus 8, which is fine. Um, if we go into settings, you can see here we've got auto gain at the top. You can toggle that on. Or toggle that off and what that does is just set the, it sets the gain to the amount of noise correctly I prefer to set it manually you've got record mode on this one you've got 32-bit uh, float mono 24-bit mono you've got 24-bit uh, dual mono and obviously the different decibels three of them 24-bit stereo and 24-bit mid-side so there's actually uh, on the Pro Plus mic you've got uh, six microphones Two at the side and four along the top. Uh, I actually put this uh, dead cat on top of here just to cut some wind noise out myself. It's not a product from Instamic. It's one that I've actually used some Sugru and just a uh, dead cat to pop on top there. So uh, I prefer to uh, record in mono. Uh, sample rate, 48 kilohertz. Uh, LEDs on and off, sleep mode. So if you're not using the device after a certain amount of time, it will switch off. Uh, save monitoring session, so that can be saved to your phone as well, so you don't lose anything. Um, you can also, at the bottom, power on, power off. It shows you the firmware version, the battery level. Uh, you can format um, the device just by pressing the red format just there, and that will uh, tell you that you're going to wipe the memory card. Uh, they have a 16 gigabyte internal memory, and also it... Uh, it shows you the uh, the number take. So if I click on the number take, I can actually adjust that and rename the file from 100. So first file will be 100, second file 101, and so on. I can rename it. Uh, this one I've called Bike Noise, and also I have a graphic equalizer. If I go into that, I can adjust and uh, alter them up to whatever I would like from the device. So. Lots of functionality. Uh, also, if I go back into ready to record, um, you can also bunch up lots of different devices. Go back into the main one here. I'm currently recording on helmet mic, so it's actually recording. Um, but if that wasn't recording, I could hit the uh, red button at the bottom of the screen just here, and that would actually start both devices recording in sync. I can also stop them by hitting the same button or on the multi-control button just on the right hand side I can switch them both off when I like as well. Uh, the other features uh, it has, you can have it set up as a wireless microphone with some devices or use it as a Bluetooth uh, hands-free profile if you're filming for Facebook or Zoom or any of the uh, 
you know the the video conference in uh, apps and things that uh, are used on uh, iPads and computers these days but the main function I use it for is as an audio recorder so that's the Instamic and that's my preferred device I'll just switch this one off there we go so I hope that's been useful for you. Um, when I'm going along and I'm recording with the Instamic and the camera, obviously I can just switch the camera on and off to record with one switch. Um, but I normally sync uh, both the Instamic and the camera um, up just by hitting the horn three times or doing a three clap and then I sync it up in post. Uh, but one real great uh, thing is if I'm riding along, I can have, as you can see here on screen, you've got the uh, Instamic recording just now. I can start and stop that, but also I can see the gain at the bottom as I'm riding along. And if it goes from green to yellow to red, uh, I can then adjust it up uh, as I'm riding along, obviously, uh, safely. So on one of my gloves on my left hand, it does have a uh, section that uh, you can use on phone screens. So when I'm riding along, I can literally uh, press record and stop from my mobile phone just there. And then uh, obviously pip three times and I can literally sync both audio and video from all of the cameras, including the other Osmo Action 2 that I've got mounted just on the, uh, the dashboard section just here. So I hope that uh, information was useful to you and good. We're just down by the lock keeper's rest just here at Glass and Dock. And also it's good to come out and just see how the Osmo Action 3 performs in a low light situation really. There's not much sun or blue sky around today as there was on the other video. As you can see I've got the Ride Tech Moto mount on my other helmet as well as I have with all of my helmets and uh, literally the same mount just clips off and clips uh, back on so I can put the camera very easily onto any of my helmets and not worry about having to put a lavalier mic into, uh, into the helmets. I just clip the Insta mic in on the clip just inside the helmet there and I'm all set up for, uh, for multiple different helmets whether you've got multiple different bikes and you use a different helmet for each bike whether it's a classic bike modern bike, an off-road or a, an adventure bike. So I'm just going to put the other Instamic into my back jacket pocket and then you can hear the, the bike noise as well and how it picks it up. Press record, there we go. So thanks again guys and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button, ding that bell for future videos coming up and uh, appreciate if you can give the video a like and uh, we'll catch you on another video soon. Take care. Cheers.